Um, good morning, good day, no? So, we are now moving on to our Filipino personality and social work. It's our um, social work 132, okay? We now move on to social work 132, week 7. So, our main proponent for today, yung pag-aaralan natin today is that Harry Stack Sullivan, okay? Or um, interpersonal theory. So, Sullivan was born in Norwich, New York. He concentrated mainly on the study of theory of interpersonal relations. He said that personality is pure entity, an illusion, which cannot be observed or studied. Apart from interpersonal relation, it is not the person. So, kumbaga, hindi mo talaga may istadihan yung personality ng isang tao based on the person lamang. So, tinitignan natin siya in the personal situations po. Okay? Or relations natin sa isa't isa. The organization of personality consists of interpersonal rather than intrapsychic. No, intrapsychic yan po yung iniisip nila Freud. Personality manifests itself with the behavior a person shows in relation to one another. So, kung baga, kung ano yung pinapakita natin in relation to one another. People do not need to be present. They may be illusionary or non-existent figure. Perceiving, recalling, thinking, imagining, and all other psychological processes are interpersonal in nature as according to Sullivan. A structure of personality according to Sullivan, we have here dynamism. Or kung baga, it's like a habit. It is defined as the relatively enduring pattern. Kung baga, pattern. Kung baga, kung parang habit. Kung baga ba, di ba? Kung tatanungin kita ngayon, ano yung habit mo? It's like ano yung pattern na pinagagawa mo? Relatively enduring pattern of energy transformation. No? It may be equated to a habit. Dynamism usually employs a particular zone on the body, such as the mouth, the arms, and the genital, and how it interacts with the environment. However, there is an important dynamism that develops as a result of anxiety. This is called dynamism of the self or self-system. Self-system, or it's like a conscience po natin, okay? It's a product of interpersonal relations being transmitted originally from the mother to an infant and later in life by, threat, um, by threats to one's security. These protective measures are self-system that sanctions certain forms of behavior. It's like the good me. Okay, so, meron po dito, I think, the, meron po dito tawag equivalent dito si Freud. And forbids other forms of, kumbaga, the bad me self. Sullivan, and the self-system as a guardian of one's security, tend, tend to become isolated from the rest of the personality. It includes information that is incongruous with its present organization and thereby fails to profit with its experience. A young child is made of um, Sullivan believes that the self-system is the product of the irrational aspects. So, kumbaga, kung ano yung self-system natin ngayon, produkto lang po yan ang pakikipaghalobilo natin sa society. A young child is made to feel anxious which would otherwise not exist in more rational society. He or she is forced to adapt a natural or unrealistic way of dealing with anxiety. Of course, there is also pers personification. It is an image that one has with himself. Sorry. Or another person. So, kumbaga, it's like, no? It's like, no? Kumbaga, um, Charles Colino, the looking glass self. Kung ano yung nakikita mo sa sarili mo sa ibang tao, you act that way. Personification that are shaped by a number of people are called stereotypes. Ano yung stereotypes na nakikita mo sa iba na paningin nila sa'yo? Sullivan's unique contribution regarding the place of recognition is in personality is the three-fold classification of experience. Okay? Diba nga, some authors believe that our experiences um, compose our personality. We have here the prototoxic experiences is the discrete series of momentary state of sensitive organism. This type of experience is similar to what James called extreme of consciousness. This is the sensation, the images, the feelings that is that flows to our mind. The next one is the parataxic mode of experience is seeing a causal relationship with the events that of course, kumbaga ano yung nakikita natin na relationship with the events and the time, no? but which are not logically related. The third highest mode of experience is the syntactic mode, which is consensually validated symbol activity, especially verbal in nature. No? The syntactic mode produces logical order among experiences and enables people to communicate with one another. And of course, the cognitive idea of Sullivan, functions in humans are more important in foresight. Man, the person lives in the past, present, and the neighboring future. The stages of development, no? 
of Saliban, we have here the period of infancy is from birth to the appearance of article speech, no? the oral zone. Kung baga, ito po yung kampoid. Other behaviors that characterize the infantile stage are appearance of dynamism, apathy, and detachment, and the like. It's more on oral, parang kampoid. The transition from infancy to child starts from the learning of language and the organization of experiences in the syntactic mode. Childhood extends from emergence of articulate speech to the appearance of the need for playmates. The juvenile stage um, extends throughout most of the grammar school, no? school years po to. This is the period of becoming social and acquiring experiences of subordination to authority, figures outside family, becoming competitive. Okay? So, meron di ba yung competitive aspect din kang erekson? The relative brief or the period adolescent stage and of course, the main problem of the early adolescence. Meron din yan. Ang Suliban. The late adolescence and the stage of psychiatric interview. This is the Suliban's term for the type of interpersonal face-to-face -face situation that takes place between the patient and the therapist. We have here the formal inception. No, it's primarily vocal communication between the patient and the therapist. How the person talks, tinitignan niya. The period of reconnaissance centers about finding out who the patient is. It's all about inter in intensive interrogation. And of course, no, the detailed inquiry, it's more about substantial inquiry. Determination stage. Evaluation, no? Sullivan, like Adler, asserts that importance of society and its effect on human development. His personality theory emphasizes the interaction is the foundation of personality. Kumbaga, interpersonal interaction. From birth up to later stage, one is always in contact with other personalities. Interaction may take place with a living person or a fictional character and can operate even the dreams or images. Summary. Interpersonal theory is the basic tenet of Sullivan's theory. All human beings are products of interpersonal contacts. One makes true life. The reciprocity of personalities is the key theme of the Sullivan's theory. Tension is part of life or may problem. It has bad and good effects. Okay, so yun lang po. And now we move on to our second proponent, Henry Moray. Now it's more about the personology. Murray's research and training in medicine and biology have contributed to the importance he has consistent given to the relationship of the physical and biological factor factors in behavior. In the field of psychometric, Murray introduced the thematic um, meaning psychometric, meaning measuring the psycho psychology. Thematic appreciation test, which is currently used and the most popular uh, projective test. Okay? Mori attempted to develop a theory of personality based on needs and motives using this position of approaches. He was the first to be given the, the title personality psychologist. Mori's view of man, human nature, Mori's theory was strongly influenced by psychoanalytic of Freud. Although for Mori, the aid includes impulses that are acceptable. Kasi nga, ang, ang aid kasi ni Freud is all about unacceptable. The superego is an internalized subsystem that acts within the idealized picture of self. Ideal po yung superego. Para siyang konsensya. It is a set of personal ambitions which the individual aspires. Stages of development no? ni Moray. Moray focus on the importance of genetic and maturational factors in the development of personality. He listed the stages of personality as childhood, adolescence, young adulthood. The second is the middle years and senescence or final era. During the first era, childhood, adolescence, and young adulthood, new um, structural composition emerges and multiply. The middle years are marked by conservative recomposition and already emerge structure and function. During the final era, the capacity of forming new composition and recomposition decreases and at the and atrophy of existing forms and function increases. When the effects of infantile experiences upon later behavior are clear and extensive, the individual is said to have the complex. No, nagiging complex. Nag Nagkakamera na siya ng complex. Murray defines and provides rough specification of the measurement of five complexes. Crustral, oral, anal. So it's like the stages po of Freud. Each represents outcome of events involving one areas of pleasurable experiences. Complex is an enduring integrate or derived from one above mentioned enjoying conditions that determines unconsciously that course the later development. It's like the stage of development ng isang tao. Cast, uh, claustral complex represents residual and urinal or prenatal experiences of an individual. 
Now, this era of experiences has been dealt with by analysis including Freud and Rank. Murray brought together the synthesis with these ideas, elaborated them. Under the gen um, general heading, the simple crossover complex revolved around the wish to restate the condition similar to those prevailing from birth. Fear of insupport complex centers about the anxiety in support of helplessness. Aggression complex, um, anxiously directed against suffocation and confinement. Of course, we, hindi rin mamawala dyan yung oral complexes. Represents the um, derivatives of early feeding experiences involving the mouth as the erogenous zone. Oral succulence complex involves oral activity, combination of passive and dependive Kasal, parang medyo katulad din to kang Freud na oral receptive oral aggressive complex combines oral activity with aggression oral rejection complex involves spitting out and discuss over oral activity anal complex we have the anal rejection complex includes the yarilia and catesis for physis involving the need for aggression particularly um, so ito na po yun ng mga stage na kumbaga kung dito na oral stage yung bata nagiging uh, nagkaka successful siya dito positive yung nangyayari at dito, ito po yun negative yung mga nagiging resulta in their personality anal retention involves underlying hypothesis for faces but is concealed behind apparent disgust types of needs we have the primary and the secondary needs primary or viscerogenic needs are linked to characteristic organic events and typically refers to physical satisfaction overt and covert needs manifest needs and latent needs the overt needs is the needs that are typically expressed to motor behavior. The covert needs or not often needs usually belong to the world or fantasies. Focal needs and disputes needs. Focal needs are linked. So since mayroong problema po dito sa mga stage na to, dapat mayroong needs. Kung baga, paano siya isosolve? Yan po yung pinapropose sa mga theories. Okay? Focal needs are linked to specific classes of, of environment object. Disputes needs are so generalized that are applicable to almost every environment setting. Proactive and reactive needs. Proactive needs are those from within. Reactive needs are those activated as a result of the response to some environment events. Modal and effect needs. Modal needs involve doing something with a certain degree of excellence. Dapat mong galingan. Also, the idea of press, are according to Murray, are environmental forces that interact with the needs to determine behavior. The tokens of press, alpha press, environmental objects as they exist in reality. The beta press, environmental object as they, as they perceive and interpreted by the individual. The tension reduction. When a need is aroused, the individual in a state of tension. So, kailangan po siya ng tension reduction. Tema is a molar or interactive behavior unit and involves the interaction between instigating situational situation press and the need. Kasi meron na situation, kailangan ng need that is operating. Needs. Ito po yung 20 needs na of According to Henry Moray, the needs of abasement, uh, achievement, appellation, aggression, so on, deterrence, infavoidance, no? Syn synthesis, okay? And evaluation, positive aspect of Moray's um, theory. Moray's theory and studies have played a crucial role in promoting the serious interest of psychoanalytic theory by academic psychologists, cause especially meron siyang metric na thematic, no? Na, na, na develop. His theory have unique features of emphasis simultaneous the importance of the past of the organisms and the present context within the behavior that takes place. The negative aspect naman ka more is something that the theory is so broad. It loses the power of vigor attached more unlimited and specialized point of view. Hindi niya napupukusan. Okay, and Morey's patience and skill as taxonomists lead him to create so many fine distinctions. In Morey's general writing, researches are not fashionable within existing psychological world. Ang summary dito, Morey believed that Human behavior may be understood in terms of process of satisfying motives and needs. Personality can generally be described in terms of the needs of these needs and the ways they interact with the environmental forces. Morris' ideas is similar with Freud's development. Yung mga oral, anal, ganon. Stages of personality, he even adapted id, ego, and superego. His most valuable contribution are the thematic appreciation test and his taxonomous of needs, press, and tema. Okay?